my not little brother. By the way, I just I gotta say this real quick because a lot of you guys will say you guys look just alike. We're not actually brothers. I'm way I, prettier than him. Exactly, right? Yeah. No, you're not. Um, I'm way more handsome. Look, I bet you're beard. I'm almost there. You, 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 you see that? <laughs> you starting to grow in. <laughs> it's coming up. Um, but uh, but but Chad is my 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 brother by uh, by blood and sweat and beating the crap out of each other. And so he came up. Uh, he was here uh, here on Monday. Today, because today's Monday, getting a little training in. While he was here, I wanted to get him to show one of his techniques that he's working on. So, Chad, take it away. Cool. So, I have a back attack series, that, uh, or sorry, a course that I'm working on right now. Um, and we'll go ahead and look at something from the back position here. So, we'll start from half guard. A lot of times, when I start to pass here and I'm going for my cut through, I dig for an underhook. I take my head to the side. I'm going to use my knee and my shin to kind of get the person's hips to shift to the side. And as I do that, all I have to do is get past this arm and it'll give me access to the person's back. So when I get here and I start passing, I'll use this arm to come up and underneath and then I'll use my hips to turn. And as I turn, you'll see that it puts his hand right into position where I can grab. Now once I get here, I'm just gonna double up on it or I can go double on the wrist depending on what you want to do. And now we're going to do two things with this. I can either flare with my chest and kind of open the person's elbow and that's going to force him kind of flat belly down to where I can get the choke. Or if I'm trying to force this way and he's really strong, I'm going to do a chair set and now I can go to the opposite side. And since my head is on the lower side, I'm going to use my foot and kind of keep stomping down on his leg. That way he can't get to his head to the floor and start escaping. Now from here we can start looking to attack the neck. But again, I'll get into that passing series. When we go here, I'll kind of press to the side to get his hips this way. And then quickly, I'll turn and cut. And I make sure my shoulder's low and I get this underhook. Once I get to this position, I take my head and I'll use my head to kind of turn his face to the side. Right, now I'm gonna go up and underneath the arm. I'll bring my knee in a little bit closer and I really wanna put some pressure to force the turn. Now as he turns, I'll take my hand, get control of the wrist, and I'll double up, and then again, I decide what I want to do. Most of the time, what I like to do is flatten the person. Like this really sucks on the person on the bottom, makes it very easy for me. Like his hand's trapped, his face is stuck on the floor, I just have to go through and get that choke. So that's usually the first thing that I look for. But if I just can't do it, he's pushing back, I'm gonna get to a chair set. When I say chair set, we'll look at it from the opposite side. So we get here, as he starts putting pressure back, I tuck my foot in, and then I'm going to sit to my butt first, that way I can pull him up on top. A common mistake that happens, people do this, and they fall back, and then the person turns on top of them. So what I want to do is I want to sit to my butt and pull him up. Now rather than throwing my second hook in, a lot of times you'll see me start pushing the person's hip down and I'll take this leg up a little bit higher and that's gonna make it harder for him to escape. Now, once we get to the course, um, we take a look in detail about what to do when, the per or when you're losing your hooks and you're losing the position. So that's a main focus of the course. But we also look at some back takes like this one, how to pressure forward and what to do when the person reacts. If you're interested in checking that out, you can look down the links below. You can find out more about Chad, both his YouTube channel that he has, you can look up the course he has coming up, um, and there's plenty of videos of me and him rolling here on the channel from plenty of over the years. So if you want to check those out, links are down below. As always, no liabilities. I'm, yeah, no, oh, I, oh, wrong oh, channel, oh, wrong oh, channel. Oh, I'm finished. Oh, I'm, I'm finished, Chad. No liabilities. <laughs>